Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to explore the concept of impedance. What is impedance? Well, impedance is a form of opposition to the current, especially when it refers to current that varies or alternates with time. So a good definition would be that the impedance is the effect of opposition. It's kind of like resistance, not quite the same, against an alternating current. And the units are exactly the same as resistance. They are also in ohms. Now, the impedance, which we use the letter Z for the impedance, is equal to R, the resistance of a circuit, if all you have in the circuit is resistors. So impedance and resistance are the same if the only, uh, only components in the circuit are resistors. But if you also have capacitors and inductors, and then you have a time-varying current, the impedance is the best way to calculate the opposition to the current because it takes into account the phase differences. So in the, frequency, in the frequency domain or the phasor domain, we can think of the impedance Z as simply equal to the ratio of the voltage divided by the current. That looks exactly like Ohm's law, but notice that now we're in the frequency domain or the phasor domain, and maybe what I should do here is, I should maybe write it like this, frequency domain or the phasor domain, you can see it's exactly the same as Ohm's law, except we'll use the phasor voltage and the phasor current instead of the time voltage and the time current. Now for resistors, notice that the voltage across the resistor is the resistance times the current. And since we want to calculate Z, we can know that Z is equal to the voltage divided by the current, and the voltage is, divided, is, is defined as the resistance times the current, you, def you cancel out the current, and you can see that the impedance is equal to the resistance for resistors. But for inductors and capacitors, it's a different story. Notice that the voltage in the time domain, or not time domain, but the phasor domain, or, the, or what we call the uh, uh, frequency domain, ooh, those terms sometimes get to us, doesn't it? So when we want to take a look at the voltage across an inductor in the frequency domain or the phasor domain, it's equal to J omega L times I. Since the impedance is the voltage divided by the current, if we then replace the voltage by this and cancel out the current, we can see that the impedance is now defined as J times omega L. Omega L is the magnitude of the impedance. J gives you the phase difference. Here you can see that J will give you a positive 90 degrees, which means in inductors, the voltage is ahead of the current. And therefore, we have a positive 90 degree phase difference. And omega L, that, which is the magnitude of the impedance, is also defined as what we call the inductive reactance. Is the opposition to the current in an inductor. We call that omega times L, and it's called inductive reactance. And the symbol we use for inductive reactance is X sub L. So in other words, X sub L is the impedance of an inductor. Looking at capacitors, the voltage, of course, in the phasor domain or in the frequency domain is defined as the current divided by J omega C. And since the impedance is the voltage divided by the current, replace the voltage by this, we get I divided by J omega C times I. The I's cancel out, we get one over J omega C. And if we want to bring the J to the numerator, this becomes minus J over omega C. Notice omega C again is, whoop, and I of course should be one over that. So one over omega C, that's the magnitude of this, that's the magnitude of impedance for a capacitor. And so one over omega C is equal to the capacitive reactance, and we can write that as X sub C, like that. And of course, minus J means there's a lag of 90 degrees. That means that the voltage lags the current by 90 degrees in a capacitive circuit. So now you see the definition for impedance. It's the opposition to the current for a resistor, an inductor, or a capacitor in a time-varying circuit or a time-varying with a time-varying cur current. Notice that for the resistance, if all you have is resistance, then the impedance is the same as resistance. But if you have an inductor or a capacitor, notice that because the voltage in the, with an inductor leads the current by 90 degrees and the voltage lags by 90 degrees in a capacitor circuit, the impedance does depend upon that phase difference and is defined by J omega L for the inductor and minus J over omega C for capacitance and therefore the magnitude omega L is the inductive reactance and one over omega C is the capacitive reactance 
basically the opposition to the current in an inductor and a capacitor. So now we have a nice review of what impedance is. Now we'll go ahead and use that concept in the framework of working with phasor diagrams in the frequency domain. And that's how it's done.